nuclear was, was easy and until the plants started to age and, and people started to worry about them. And uh, what happened in, Jap in Japan just shook everyone to the core. The, the sleeping giant is now awake. There are plants closing throughout the country. What do we do with this waste? What happens? Uh, you know, what are the next steps? Last year, uh, Entergy made the decision to cease operation of the plant June 1st of 2019. From a cost standpoint, the, uh, the plant uh, can't compete with uh, natural gas that's produced from fracking or, or large quantities of shale gas. Uh, I think the time has, has come that we have to think about the other ramifications of nuclear power. Uh, since there isn't a nuclear waste depository anywhere in this country right now that's accepting waste from nuclear plants, the uh, spent fuel will have to be kept on site. And that is a major concern to this community and to every other community that is a host to a nuclear plant. When they shut down, the party's not over too early to uncork the champagne because you have then to have to decommission it, to take the reactor down, to do something with all that fuel. It is highly poisonous and will be so for 250,000 years. It all comes back to waste, so that as we're designing places to put nuclear reactors, we also have to think about where are we gonna have these dumps, just like trash dumps. Would I rather have long-term climate change or nuclear explosions that could ruin civilization? I don't know, they both <laughs> sound pretty horrible to me. How do we move forward with energy efficiency, renewables, and wisdom in a way that sustains us all? The, the plant right now does provide uh, energy to over 600,000 homes and businesses. So there is a, a tremendous gap and, and it will be difficult to replace. We don't have wind and we don't have hydropower that, uh, to replace it and those are the, the alternatives that you would look to. Pilgrim produces 10% uh, of the uh, power for the state of Massachusetts, uh, but that 10% of the power constitutes 97% of the carbon-free emission power. In the future, we may be able to rely on things like solar and wind energy, but for right now, I think nuclear power has an important niche in continuing to maintain the backbone of the country's baseload capability. We don't want to be dependent on oil. Uh, we know that uh, having aging plants in the country that are going to be closing is, is going to cut down on, on resources that we've become so accustomed to. So what do you do? Hopefully the American genius uh, is going to be able to, uh, to say, yeah, uh, well, you know, we can use wind, we can use solar. There are going to be other sources of energy that we're going to have to use. So I think as each plant closes, we're going to learn and make it easier for those that are coming after us. Uh, the first few, that's tough, but I think it's going to get better and at least now people are listening. A few years ago, you couldn't get anyone to talk about it.